Hi, welcome to another video in my series on transformation matrices. And in this video, what we're going to look at is how we can take any general shape and rotate it through an angle of theta degrees or radians. And if theta is a positive value, it represents an anti-clockwise turn. And that rotation takes place about the center, the origin. Now to find the matrix that represents this transformation, what we do is consider the two unit base vectors. And the first one is the unit base vector 1, 0, which is going to look something like this. I'll just mark that in, 1, 0. And the other one is the unit base vector 0, 1. So if we just draw that in like so. And we consider where these two base vectors move to under the given transformation. Now if we're to turn each of these through say theta degrees or radians, again it doesn't matter which, anti-clockwise, then the red vector 1, 0 is going to end up in that position and the green vector 0, 1 is going to end up in that position where the angle theta is this angle in here theta and theta. Now to find out where they go it's best if we consider now a right angle triangle in each of these diagrams. We've got that right angle triangle there and we've got this one in here. And if we call this distance say A and this distance B then that distance A is going to be that distance, that vertical distance on this triangle and the distance B is going to be that distance horizontally across there. Now to get the values of A and B just got to do some basic trigonometry because we know that if this length is one unit then when it turns through theta degrees this length up here will still be one unit. And similarly on this diagram over here this is one unit, turn it anti-clockwise and you've got that this length here is one unit. So by trigonometry then we can find out A and B. So for this triangle, and the same applies for this triangle, you can see that the cosine of theta, cos theta for short, compares the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So cos of theta equals a over 1. In other words, therefore, a equals cos theta. And similarly, if we consider the sine of angle theta, sine of angle theta compares the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So that's going to be b over 1. And if we rearrange this, therefore, b must be equal to sine theta. So how does this help us then with the transformation matrix? Well it means that we consider the movement of the base vector 1, 0. It has now gone to this point here. So as a vector it's going to be a, b. So we've got that that vector, the first one, is going to be a and then b. And what happens to 0, 1? Well it moves over to here. And the vector, this vector out here to that point is going to be minus b and a. We've got to go minus b that way and a units up. So we can write that in as minus b and then a. Let's just complete that matrix there. Now we can express this in trigonometric functions because we've seen that a is cos theta. So this is the equivalent to saying cos theta and b is sine theta. 
So you can have that as the vector cos theta sine theta for this one up here. And for this one over here, we can now write it as minus b and a, minus sine theta in other words, and then cos theta for a. So that's another way that we can represent this transformation matrix. And this is the one that's really going to be useful for us when we want to rotate a sh shape through theta degrees or theta radians. So we've got an example here where we could take this triangle ABC. Now let's suppose that we turn it 135 degrees anti-clockwise. Well the matrix that would transform it is this one here. Because all I've got to do is do the cosine of 135, sine 135, and then minus sine 135 and the cosine 135. And they're all coming out to these exact values here. You could try them on a calculator or you should really know them because they're based off of 45 degrees, multiples of 45 degrees. So if you take your transformation matrix here, multiply it by the shape matrix, A being 1, 1, B being 1, 3, and C being the 2, 1, 2 across, 1 up. If you multiply these two matrices together in the usual way, you get this result here, which I've turned to decimals just to one decimal place. So we'll rotate this triangle 135 degrees, that's 45, 90 degrees, and there's 135. And here are the image points A prime, B prime, and C prime. They're the images then given by these vectors here. Minus 1.40 is A prime, minus 2.8, minus 1.4 is B prime, and minus 2.1, 0 0.7 is C prime. So, I hope that gives you some idea then how we could go about compiling then the matrix that represents this rotation of theta degrees or radians. And I'd strongly encourage you to have a go at some more examples, make up other angles and draw a shape on a piece of graph paper and just check out that you can rotate it by whatever degrees and also experiment with negative angles. Remember they will turn in a clockwise sense. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial in my series. Don't forget if you're stuck on any of the other transformation matrices for say reflections or enlargements they too are covered in this series. Just go on my website and you should find links to them.